to welcome you back to my channel, Bookkeeping Journey, where I share my journey as I build my bookkeeping business, the knowledge that I gain, and the people that I meet along the way. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the initial steps that you need to, to take to become a freelance bookkeeper. And uh, obviously, there's extra stuff that could be added, but I was just asked in a comment um, last night, what are the initial steps to take to become a freelance bookkeeper? So here goes. The first thing that you definitely need to, to do is to get some training and some knowledge in bookkeeping and the bookkeeping basics is what you want. So you want to find out, you want to have to you want to find a course, be it free or or that you have to pay for it, you can go check out EDS.com. I will also link a video in the iCard as well at the end of this video that will take that that will go through the different courses that they are, are out there. I, I talk about EDX in there, I talk about Bookkeeper Business Launch, I talk about Udemy in that video as well. So you can go check that out when you finish watch this video. Um, and so that you can get that bookkeeping knowledge and that information because you can't just come into bookkeeping and think that you can just get it done. There are certain things and there are certain laws that you have to follow uh, to be able to do it right. Because remember you're dealing with people's finances, it's people's money. All right. So the next thing that you also have to decide after you get that bookkeeping knowledge, you have to decide what software you're going to use for to run your business. Are you going to use Xero or are you going to use QuickBooks Online? I am a QuickBooks Online certified pro advisor and I have I also did a video on QuickBooks and Xero and about the free and there are free certifications for us bookkeepers so you can go on either quickbooks online or zero sign up for an, a free account and they too inside of their back end of uh, instead of their training for us they both offer tiny bookkeeping courses but i've never done those um so i don't know how in depth they are but when you go through quickbooks online for example they teach you how to use the platform and so that you can be able to use it effectively and properly when you are using it for your clients. After you have gotten your bookkeeping knowledge, you've gotten, you've decided which software you're going to use, which certification you're going to get, because obviously you're going to use the same certification within the software. After that, and you've done that, you have to decide now if you're just going to go there to get individual clients or if you're going to go to, on some place like Upwork to apply for jobs there or you're going to go freelance.com or there's also Indeed as well. Also go through and check out the jobs that have been posted for virtual bookkeeping. Um, Upwork is the most popular one because those are the places that people normally go look for virtual workers because they post so many different jobs on Upwork every single day. So you can go check them out. But you have to decide how you're going to go about this. Before you go and apply for a job on any of these sites, or even if you, before you even take on a client, just decide in your head how many hours you are willing to put into your business a week. So you would not go on Upwork and apply for a job that says it's, all, it's for 50 hours a week and you know you can only put 20 hours a week or that you only decide to put 20 hours a week. Okay? If you have a potential client, you're not going through Upwork or anything, any, anything like that, but you're getting your clients like how I am getting mine, and you're going out there and talking to the individual business owners. Before you price your bookkeeping services, make sure that you can see those accounts so that you can decide how much hours you will have to spend on this client's books every single month. You'll be able to tell if it's going to be a lot of hours a month or if it's going to be just enough for you to be able to get what get their work done and still do whatever else that you are doing all right so just get clear on that but first you have to get clear on how you're running your business what you want to get the account the outcomes that you want to to achieve before you go about seeking those clients applying for those jobs and starting that freelance business so just get clear on your goals get clear on the outcomes that you want and that's basically it if you have any questions, you can put it in the comment section below. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Press that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. Bye.